Good afternoon, Facebook family. How are you today? Okay, hello to you from the wonderland of Florida. So let's just put some some nice music over here. Adagio. So let's listen to Figaro Wedding. So as we are as we are going forward today in this wonderful day, uh, thanks for watching. By the way. One principle I'd love to kind of talk about today on our way home is how you know, how we treat people, <clears throat> how we treat people, and how does that affect our relationship with the Holy Spirit. <clears throat> and we, you know, we kind of have really pretty stern admonitions and, uh, in the Sermon on the Mount when Jesus talks about, I mean, in, in the real life we can't do that because he talks about, you know, when you bring your offering to altar, and someone has something against you, you leave that offering at the altar, and you go to your brother. <laughs> <coughs> so, he speaks about the necessity of reconciliation. You, you and I, I, you know, we just can be really you know, very sincere. You know, we want to bring our gift to the altar. So the gift we bring our gift to the altar. And we can do that. And we could be hurting people at the same time. Meanwhile, doing that. thinking about this, behind this, is really, well, if I do something for God, or in Christ, you know, some ministry, it should kind of overlap, you know, also let's say override what I am, uh, you know, what I'm doing to people. I mean, in the same way, you know, as, as, as believers, we can think, you know, we have kind of, you know, blew it somewhere and we have wronged I mean we have disobeyed God in some in some way we think well I'll just obey more <laughs> I'll just push more I kind of and and my my obedience will override my disobedience I mean sure your dad your dad your heavenly dad you know he is 
Like it's for obedience, definitely. She wants you to be, you know, be spirit filled and follow him. But that also means that you're you're reconciled with folks. And Paul in Romans 12 he says, you know, to the best of your ability, just be with be in peace with everybody. It's like as far as it depends on you, you just be reconciled to people and don't leave things undone like in your life because <laughs> like you you may think all right it's okay I mean I'm serving God like you can be a minister you can be a preacher or a pastor or somebody you know that has a title and in one sense you may think I'm uh, I'm sort of immune to kind of I am in, I am doing you know the Lord's work after all am I like am I not I'm am I not sort of like in a privileged position because I'm doing something in the ministry because I have a title in one sense it just sounds ridiculous to one in one sense you know how how even you could think about it that you would be serving the Lord, you know, you being maybe share, you know, being a pastor or somebody, and then you would be hurting people at the same time. They're just this is oxymoron. But here, Jesus is saying, you know, you're you want to bring your gift to the altar. You want to you want to just bless the Lord with your gift. But if there is a brother that has something against you. And it's not resolved. You're like, don't bring this gift. It's useless. It's senseless. Go and reconcile with your brother. I mean, I can speak, you know, wonderful messages and very spiritual things here. But it does not mean that I, like, I cannot be off in some area. Yes, maybe the Lord is, you know, giving me some kind of revelation and and I could have like a ministry, but I'm not immune to being, uh, you know, off and hurting people. And it's like, I mean, I, 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 I'm not saying this, you know, kind of to run ministry you know overall because I am myself a minister I'm a, I'm a preacher I am a I'm a pastor a pastor but it's, it's like my and your title my and your mission does not doesn't mean that you are not going to make mistakes and some really bad mistakes for which uh, we are to apologize and we need to reconcile with people you know, you can think, yeah, my ministry is a gift to God. I'm giving my of myself to the Lord. You know, my years of life, I give them to the Lord. So, so yes, you do. That's why, like, the way, like, you treat your brother, your sister, or like another human being, is actually, is a reflection of how you love him. And that's why, essentially, Paul is writing in uh, Romans 13. He says, "You know, love. You know, loving your neighbor is a fulfillment of the law." That's it, my friend. This is where it all. Well, this is where the rubber meets the road. If I hate my brother, I, 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 I abide in darkness. How can I say that I love God? And then I hate my brother. I mean, these things, they don't go together. They're not on, in the same puzzle. They're of different puzzles. And that's why, like, you know, our... That's why God is so adamant about this. And especially in the Old Testament, where he is... When he's seeing his people, the Israel, like, 
they are not doing justice to widows and orphans and to the, the foreigners and the refugees. And they're thinking, how am I? Like we're you know, offering these gifts, we're fasting in Isaiah 58, we're fasting and praying. And then they're like saying, God, why don't you see all of that? And God is pointing them to the fact that they are actually are oppressive. They don't love their neighbor. They don't share with them their bread, and 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 they're they they're not there to, you know, help the needy. They're just like like they are they're hurting. They're hurting others, while at the same time claiming that they're seeking God. Just read Isaiah fifty-eight. It just will blow your mind away. It is so like stern, you know, such a stern admonition I think to in all times you know your relationship with God you know I know it's secure in Christ that when we are hurting people like we are like we're quenching the Holy Spirit we are quenching the heart of God in us and he says reconcile don't be you know, don't be arrogant and proud. Like, even if you don't think like you are doing something intentional, but if there is something going on, you can you can ask in humility, your brother, brother, do I, am I doing something wrong? Am, am I am I maybe hurting you? Isn't that isn't that safe to to go this direction, to be a vulnerable person? And not being you know, arrogant because you know the Bible and you can quote scriptures or you have, you know, behind you like 50 years of ministry. I mean, who, who am I? I mean, I can, I can hurt. I know I've hurt people in my ministry. And that's why I'm actually saying these things today, because I know that I, I have blind areas because I was so zealous, you know, to, to do this and that and preach that and this. And I was like, I was just. It was just above the people. So let's have that heart of reconciliation and, you know, ask the Lord because you may be like, you think that you are serving hard, you're doing great things, but you don't even aware that you are hurting people. So Lord, help. Hey, have fun today. Have a great day and please pay attention.